Yo. Tie in a uh, Prince Nymph jig style here. Prince Nymph is uh, a great nymph. Can represent stoneflies, iso nymphs. Some rivers, they work better than others. Uh, on the Farmington early season, they work fairly good. 12s, 14s, even coming out of winter. And then, uh, you know, smaller sizes throughout the rest of the year. Tend to do better with these where uh, you have larger cobble, larger rocks, kind of stone flyish water. So I like to use a, a red UTC on this fly, 70. And I tie like a little tag below the tail. You can see I've tied in my, uh, my biots here and brought the thread all the way up, keeping a nice even taper. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, tie in some oval tinsel all the way back again, right up to the bead. Keep a nice, nice straight taper. Same thing with my peacock fibers. And I go ahead and I like to invert the fly here on the rotary when I'm spinning on my peacock curls. All the way up to the front. Lock off. And then we can start bringing up the oval tinsel. Now keep in mind, since this is a jig, it's going to ride hook point up. So traditionally, when you tie in your biots, they would be on the, on the back of the bead, on the top side right here. But it's just the opposite. Because this is going to ride hook point up, I tend to like to put the biots on the hook gap side, which is a little bit more of a pain. So here you'll see I'm tying the biots forward. For me, this is the position I like to tie them in, um, just because when I'm dealing with the hackles, and I bring them, when I'm ready to lock them down and bring them forward, it just works out easier that way. Go ahead, put a half hitch. I'm using like a, a goldish orange uh, biots here. Not my number one choice, just for demonstration. But like your whites, you know, white's a traditional color, but definitely experiment. Tied in my hackle here. You can use brown, grizzly, whatever you want. Again, experiment. Using the rotary, I'll put about three turns and then I'll go ahead and lock off the hackle. And once you have that locked in, go ahead and clip that off. Then at this point, we can go ahead and push those biots down and lock them down. And then we're going to build up a thread base. Almost, It's basically like a hot spot with these. And again, this is why I like the red. You can try different colors, but red's probably my number one right now. Go ahead and whip it, clip your thread, and you're good to go with this one. 